In this next group of uh, order of operations, we're part C, we are dealing with everything with fractions. So question five looks like this, minus five plus three squared minus a negative six, all divided by negative six plus three minus four. Now fractions are actually a little bit easier um, when you're doing order of operations because you really are breaking them into two parts. So first part, you're gonna do your numerator, so simplify everything in your numerator. Um, and then the second part is going to be simplifying everything in the denominator. So if I look at the numerator first, what I am left with here, um, I have two different pieces. I want to first deal with my three squared, and three squared is just nine, and then I wanna combine my two symbols. Whenever I'm subtracting a negative, what is the opposite of a negative? And that becomes a positive. So my numerator just becomes negative five plus three squared, which is nine, plus six. And then I'm just gonna copy my denominator down here, which is negative six plus three minus four. Now treat everything in the numerator as one piece. And negative five plus nine plus six is equal to uh, 10. And then in the denominator, you have negative six plus three minus four, and that's gonna leave us with a negative seven. Now you can type that answer in here, but another way to type that in is to take that negative and pull that negative out front and make that negative 10 over seven. And you can type that in either way into uh, the answer box. All right, let's look at the next question we have in this section, question six, which is eight plus seven times 27 minus seven, all divided by seven squared minus 19. So we're gonna do the same thing with this one. We're gonna uh, take the numerator and denominator separately. I'm gonna do the inside of this parentheses the inside of this parentheses and this first exponent, seven squared. So what I have here is eight plus seven is equal to 15. I'm gonna leave that in parentheses for now and that's gonna be multiplied. And I don't need to write that multiplication symbol here. So I'm just gonna put a parenthesis right next to it because parenthesis times parenthesis multiplication. And then 27 minus seven is just gonna leave me with 20. And then the denominator, that seven squared becomes 49 minus 19. So I multiply the top and bottom, the top together, 15 times 20 is equal to 300. And in the denominator, 49 minus 19 is equal to 30. So all of this now, I divide, and whenever you have zeros, you can just cancel them out. I divide by 10, and then 30 divided by 3 is just equal to 10.